Good afternoon. I'm joined here with the leadership of uh, Molson Coors, with Mayor Tom Barrett, Chief for, uh, Sheriff Arnell Lucas, and myself, Chief Alfonso Morales. We're here today because six families lost their loved ones. And we have five victims that we'll be identifying today. Those five victims, number one, Jesus Valle, 33-year-old resident of Milwaukee. Jean Lepschitz, 51-year-old resident of Mequon. Trevor Wetzler, 33-year-old resident of Milwaukee. Dana Walk, a 57-year-old resident of Delafield. And Dale Hudson, a 50-year-old resident of Waukesha. Now we identify the suspect, and he is Anthony Farrell, a 51-year-old resident of Milwaukee. He was a current employee of Molson Coors at the time of this incident. Reasons for this is still under investigation of what transpired, and we don't have that for you. But I do want to extend my condolences to the families of these victims, and my condolences to the entire family and staff of Molson Coors. I ask of you, the public and the media, that we are respectful of these families during this time. As you all know, there are a lot of things that they have to take in, digest, prepare funerals, and wait for additional family to come into town. So please respect them. I'm sure you'll know their addresses. I'm sure you know where they live. But please give them that respect. Thank you, Chief. I'm Gavin Hattersley, CEO of uh, Molson Coors Beverage Company. Again, I'd like to thank the Milwaukee Police Department, the Milwaukee Fire Department, Mayor Barrett, and all the state and local officials for their support during such an awful time for us. Today, 18,000 uh, Molson Coors employees are grieving over yesterday's shooting that took the lives of five members of our family here in Milwaukee. And as the Chief said, they were Dale Hudson, Jean Levschitz, Jesse Valle, Dana Walk, and Trevor Wetzelaar. They were powerhouse operators, they were machinists, and they were electricians. But more importantly, they were husbands, they were fathers, and they were friends. They were part of the fabric of our company and our community and we will miss them terribly. Now I've spent the day speaking with the families of the victims and meeting with our employees here in Milwaukee because they are our single and number one priority at the moment. And it's really impossible to understand and imagine what they're going through at the moment, the loss that they've incurred and the pain that they are feeling at the moment. And our focus right now is on supporting them as best as we can. Over the past 24 hours, we've received countless messages from across the beer industry, from around the country, and from people in every neighborhood of Milwaukee to offer their support, to share their condolences, and to be there for the Molson Coors family. On behalf of everyone at Molson Coors, I want to thank everybody who has taken the time to show their support for our employees and for the city of Milwaukee. Thank you. Our families are hurting. The Molson Coors families are hurting. The Miller families are hurting. Our city is hurting. And what's most important right now is that we as a community come together and put our arms around these grieving families. It is important, as the Chief said, to give them privacy, and we should respect that privacy. 
But we should also recognize that they are going to need our help as a community because they've gone through something that no one ever wants to go through. A sudden, tragic, unexpected, unbelievable loss of life. It is really difficult to put words into how all of us feel right now because this is not something we ever expect to see happen in this community or any place in this country. Miller and Molson Coors are a very important part of this community. For over a century and a half, they've been part of the fabric of this community. And they've been there for us, and it's now time for us to be there for them as well. God bless these families, and God bless the city of Milwaukee. Thank you all for coming.